Well, hello guys, and here today on the Rusty Glove Box, what we're going to do today is we've got the trencher running pretty good. We're going to take it out there and we're going to do some trenching, lay some pipe, and put our irrigation boxes in. And uh, so we're going to be set and ready to go. The way this trencher propels itself is it has a little winch and uh, that steel cable that comes out the back, it's anchored uh, to a pin that I have. I'll show you that. I anchor the end of the cable to that pin and uh, the winch just tows itself at a slow speed to uh, pull it. We trenched, uh, oh, this probably about 30 foot, 35 foot through the gravel and uh, getting it out here to where I'm gonna kind of intersect this trench so I can lay my pipe and put in a 90 and then I'll take it to the backyard. I got it run toward the house too. Uh, but I've got hand digging. I'm going to run a tap over there close to the shop slab. I need to hand dig that because I also have uh, internet cables, sewer, fresh water that uh, would keep me from using the trencher. And over there against the fence, uh, I have to kind of dig under the fence. And uh, so we're getting close. Uh, won't be much longer. Well, almost every every trenching job, you're going to have some shovel work, and this is a little section that uh, I'm going to have to dig with the shovel. Uh, not worried about it too much. It's about I don't know six eight foot, and uh, I'm going to dig just a shovel width, and then I'm going to dig uh, a place for the box. I hadn't got my boxes yet. So they're supposed to come in on Monday, but. Uh, Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and dig the hole big enough to receive them. So I'll bring you back once I get everything all dug. Well, we got our irrigation box in, and uh, I finished digging the hole with correct depth. And that's how deep you need to dig it so that the top of the box will be flush. So we're right about there. That's flush, flush, flush. So everything's looking pretty good. Uh, what I'm gonna do is backfill uh, and that'll hold this box in the ground because the box is kind of tapered. Here we go, we got it all leveled up and uh, dirt pretty much all leveled out. Looks pretty good. And uh, all we need to do is just pull the cover up and we can hook a garden hose onto that hose bib. Here's how we've got everything plumbed up. I got a ball valve there going to the outside and I uh, lined my hole with a uh, piece of hose, split it kind of made a big o-ring and then uh, use that insulating foam. Uh, I'm going to bring that foam on in here a little further, insulate some of that. We're doing kind of a pressure test to see uh, how well it holds and, and uh, so far so good. Uh, looks like all the uh, hose bibs are holding good and all that, no drips anywhere. And this is the outside. I kind of was a little generous with uh, that pipe dope, but uh, 
it does good and it doesn't leak so uh, I can forgive the mess I'm gonna go ahead uh, for the next time I come out here put more of that insulation on there and uh, run it onto the ground well what I did right here is uh, I put the insulating foam on it and then I wrapped that silver refrigeration tape around it so the sun won't deteriorate it uh, in the evening uh, sun does creep around to this uh, pipe coming out of the side so uh, I thought that'd be a good way to uh, help extend the life of it and uh, not get brittle well, hey guys I tell you what I'm really happy on how everything turned out and uh, I'm really going to get some good use out of that rainwater collection system now. Got a pump to pressurize it. I can uh, wash a car with it. I can water plants with it. I can even run a sprinkler with it. So anyway, this looks like it's going to be a real good thing here for around the shop and the home. So anyway, as always, I appreciate y'all coming by the shop today. This is Rusty Glove Box, and I'm out of here.